sorry. Um, so yeah, vitamin D. If you have it, oh my god, I just dropped my tablets everywhere. But it's gonna freak out. Anyway, quadriplegic hands, dropping everything. So. Hey amigos, hope you're having a, a really good day wherever you are. Um, yeah, I had a pretty good day today. Very sunny. Um, yeah, we're having some really nice weather in Adelaide, South Australia. And I've uh, been getting out there and doing some exercise and just enjoying this really nice weather. So I've got my El Salvador t-shirt on. Uh, we're off to El Salvador again soon. I'm very excited about that. Got my Tequila Sunrise Riviera Maya. Uh, my Mexican hat, I got that when we were in holiday last year, so um, we're going to a secret, well not a secret destination, but a pretty awesome destination this year. Um, I'll tell you a bit more about that in another video, but obviously we're going to El Salvador for three months, but on the way back we're going to a wicked tropical island paradise, never been there before, um, but I'll share that in another video, so I better get back on task and... Yeah, just talk about the tablets and medicines that I take. And uh, yeah, so let's get into it. So, all right, I'll just sift through my box here of all the medications. So, baclofen. Uh, if you've got a spinal injury, well, not even if you've got a spinal injury, but yeah, there's a lot of people out there. My mum, she takes baclofen. Uh, she has a lot of spasms. She does have a neck injury and a back injury. Uh, just from working and um, or working very hard and yeah back and neck's not so good and from that she gets a lot of spasms in her hand and her legs so she takes baclofen as well and they're a 25 milligram tablet and I take one as soon as I get up in the morning with my breakfast and then about three hours later I take another one and then at night just before I go to bed I take another one so I'm on 75 milligrams of baclofen um, every single day and as you can see there's no lid I don't know man I lose, I lose the lids all the time I, I'm pretty shocking at looking after my tablets to be honest they're always spread across everywhere and um, I'm always losing them and yeah so baclofen so that's the first medication that I take and the second medication that I take is Bisalax a Bisalax enema <laughs> so the other one's an oral one and the other one goes up your up your butt to make you poop in the morning and um, yeah I just squeeze that in my butt and literally 10 minutes later yeah opens your bowels up and you go to the toilet for number two um, so that's actually a medication so yeah so when I first had my injury 25 years ago I left hospital and I was on five five different tablets five times a day so that's 25 tablets a day and it was definitely baclofen I was on oxybutynin uh, ditropan for my bladder because my bladder leaked a lot so I um, yeah I took ditropan I also took something called oh, I thought of the name before oh, amitriptyline so when I first had my accident left hospital I had a lot of nerve pain and it literally felt like my legs were on fire. So my legs, 24 hours a day, would feel like they're totally on fire and it felt like the skin, my skin was crawling um, and melting and yeah, just like a crawling sensation. Then it felt like my skin was melting and then burning and just, it was horrible. So I'm really lucky that subsided. Um, and I was only on amitriptyline for, um, I don't know, six months or something like that. I was on Valium. I can't remember all the other tablets, but it was ridiculous. I was taking so many different tablets. Like, um, I actually hated it. I didn't like taking that many tablets. So from 25 different tablets per day, I've narrowed it down to three a day, back with them, um, which is really cool. All the other ones, unnecessary, um, but at the time they served their purpose, I suppose. So all the other tablets I got here, uh, vitamins and I like to take a lot of natural vitamins and a lot of natural things um, yeah as much as possible and 
If anyone knows a natural substitute that works really, really well instead of baclofen, um, I would really love to know. So just comment below. Um, but I have tried a few different natural tablets instead of baclofen and yeah, unfortunately it didn't work that well. So, um, so one of the first, so that's the medication, pharmaceutical stuff out of the way. And um, all right, let's get into it. So what's some other tablets that I take? Um, natural supplements, tablets. Um, so I take a probiotic. Um, I use different brands depending on which I can get. One a day, um, one of those ones every day. And that's because I've been on so many antibiotics due to bladder infections. I'll make another video about that. It's absolutely annoying. Um, and then I take this Blackmore's probiotic. It's for women's flora and I don't know. But it's a woman's one. It's designed for women. But I was just like, well, they're taking it for bladder infections. I might as well take it too. So we're going to put some good bacteria back in your gut. And I definitely take them every single day. Um, not a problem. At the moment, I'm doing a bit of a oregano oil. Um, yeah. I think I'm going to take about 30 days, two capsules of those a day, just as a cleanse. They're like a natural antiseptic or a natural antibiotic that doesn't harm the bad bacteria. So I'm just doing a bit of a, a cleanse for 30 days with them. Give it a go just see what happens. Um, every single day, I take a garlic supplement just to help with, you know, not getting sick and, um, yeah. Just to, yeah, just so I can be healthier. What else we got here? All right, now we're getting into it. So I've got some quercetin, and I had that on hand. We had that on hand during COVID. Um, yeah, good stuff when you got COVID, quercetin. Um, take a couple a day, or even when you're just sick in general, take quercetin. Um, that's a really good supplement to take, but I was told like, yeah, keep it on hand if you ever have COVID. Um, yeah, start taking that. And then vitamin D, Another one with no lid, vitamin D. So I take three of these tablets a day, which is 3,000 international units a day. I had my blood levels checked and they're really, really good. So long story short about vitamin D is during the whole COVID thing, um, at the very beginning and getting into it, um, we have a lot of Indian, like a lot of doctors from India here in Australia. And what I was noticing is that they were telling a lot of their clients, my friends, they're like, have you had your vitamin D levels checked? Um, obviously during the pandemic, um, you know, it's really important to make sure that you have really good vitamin D levels and, you know, to take supplements every single day. And it worked. turns out that they're explaining that there's a lot of studies done in India during COVID and people with really good vitamin D levels weren't getting as sick. So that's what I did. And I had COVID twice unvaccinated. So the first time I had COVID, um, I was in and out of bed for about a week. Um, had a sore throat, couldn't taste, couldn't smell, couldn't breathe. I had all the symptoms. Full delirious, full fever, in and out of bed for a week. But I knew I'd be fine. And um, yeah, I was fine. Um, and that was the first time um, that I had it. And then uh, it was a year or two later, I got it again, and I had no idea. I had absolutely no idea um, that I had COVID at all. Didn't even know. The only reason I found out is because my wife, Becky, was on the couch with a sore throat, a really sore throat. So um, I was like, let's do a test. Like, yeah, we had a couple of tests. So we did the test, bang, straight away, came up with COVID, and I was full asymptomatic. Um, hadn't had a vaccine yet. Um, whether it was from this, I don't know, but um, yeah. And then we put off the vaccine as long as possible only because we'd already had COVID a couple of times and then we had to travel overseas and go through the US and we put off as long as possible. I didn't want to get it. Um, yeah, and then 
we hadn't seen Becky's family for about five years. So we're like, mm. and then we finally got it. And um, let's just say I was sicker from the vaccine and had major chest pains for three days, sicker from the vaccine. Um, yeah, that I actually was from COVID. So, which is interesting. That's just my story. Um, so yeah, vitamin D. If you have it, oh my God, I just dropped my tablets everywhere. Becky's going to freak out. Anyway, quadriplegic hands, dropping everything. So if you haven't got your vitamin D levels checked, folks, go get them checked. Don't just take vitamin D and hope for the best. Get your levels checked for sure. So here's another thing that I like to take. Um, so if you don't know, I have an extreme anxiety disorder, extreme stress disorder, and I can usually, um, you know, just live with it every single day. But when it just gets out of hand and out of control and I feel extremely overwhelmed, I take lemon balm. And this stuff, no joke, I take it within five, 10 minutes, dude, my anxiety is gone. Like I'm just so calm. I can think clearly. I'm just a totally different person. I feel so good on the inside. So, yeah. And I don't get paid to say any of this, folks. This is, you know, I'm not getting paid or whatever to share this. I'm just sharing it just because. So, lemon balm, if you've got anxiety, give it a go. It might work for you. Um, vitamin C. So, I take... This is vitamin C. I take a couple of different brands and um, yeah, I take their 500 milligram tablet or 500 gram tablet and I take four of them a day, um, yeah, which is really good. Another one with no lid, I take Ural Cranberry tablets. Um, I take one of these every single day. Gee, what's going on with the no lid action here? It's not very good. Some Eurofem. Oh, I'm into the feminine products, I'll tell you that much. Eurofem D Manos. Now, I don't use this brand all the time. I just have it on hand. Um, I ran out of my other brand that I use. Um, and I've only just really started using it in the last few weeks. Like I said, I've been having just... Seriously, folks, like for 25 years, I've had just chronic UTIs. And I think in 25 years... The most I've ever gone is five months without a UTI. And that five months just felt like heaven. Like it's been so stressful. Doctors just keep feeding me antibiotics. So every day I'm researching, every day I'm trying different things. Like, um, yeah, it's super stressful. Just having UTIs all the time, feeling sick. Just, uh, anyway, I don't even want to talk about it. I'll make another video about it, but. 25 years of chronic UTIs is just, yeah, just too much. So, anyway, folks, that's the uh, tablets um, that I take. So, obviously, I take pharmaceutical medication, baclofen, and Vizlax enema. And then all the rest, you know, I take all my different supplements. And obviously, I don't take all these together at the same time. I, you know, alternate them, try different things take them for a while and see what's working best for me so at the moment I'm literally just taking one oregano oil tablet in the morning one garlic capsule in the morning after my shower I have my cranberry tablet with my demonose then in the mid uh, with my baclofen and then uh, around lunchtime I have my probiotics another baclofen and yeah and then another back for at night, and that's about it. So, all right, guys. Well, yeah. Hope you found it entertaining or useful, or yeah. And I hope you have a a really good day tomorrow or whatever you're doing. And we'll speak soon. And yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll catch you later. Adios.